We're continuing on section 15.2, um, double integral over more uh, general regions. And now this part is changing the order of integration. Um, a part of the changing of or the order of the integration. Um, so some regions are both vertically and horizontally simple. If you look at this region that uh, is illustrated to the uh, left, you can see that um, it's basically bounded by uh, y equal to x squared right here, and then y equal to 1, and y equal to x equal to 3. Um, and then if I draw arrows either in the y direction or in the x direction, um, I can see that in both cases um, the there are elementary functions on the bottom part and up and, and then the higher part elementary function bottom and high and so that's the that shows that the region is um, uh, both vertically and horizontally simple so what do we do um, so we'll come again computing double integral of the region d that's the region d of f of x and y um, dA um, so let's first try to integrate over the um, in, where inside is dy in the dy direction in the y direction, and when I draw the arrow from uh, in the y direction, the lower part is uh, y equal to one, the upper part is y equal to x squared, so y is between one and x squared, right there, and x goes from uh, the constants one and three. And so setting it up, uh, y inside, 1 to x to the third, x, uh, x squared, and x from 1 to 3. Now, how about if I do this horizontally? If I, um, the arrow inside, the inner integral would be in the direction x. Then I see that the x is between square root of y and x equal to 3. And then uh, y changes from 1 to 9 basically and so setting it up and uh, this is the setup uh, um, x goes from square root of y to 3 and y goes from 1 to 9 it's always important to solve for um, x when you're trying to um, uh, set up the bounds or solve for y if you're setting up the bounds for y uh, and set up, solve for x when you're setting up the bounds for x. And so, which in, in a, iterated interval should, should you use? Whichever is more convenient. And so, depending on the f of x and y, uh, you see which way is easier and, and you continue doing that. Um, changing the order of integration. Uh, the next question is to evaluate integral from 0 to a, 1 and uh, integral from y to 1 of e to the power x squared um, dx dy. As soon as I see the integral, which is that one, is basically um, integral of e to the x squared dx is not elementary is not elementary this uh, basically uh, is going to make we you know this from uh, calculus one and two so this is uh, this should prompt you to prompt you to basically change the order of the integration so change the order because of this I'm putting an arrow down change the order see if it's better and so that's one of the reasons that uh, that we basically do that. To change the order, the first thing that you want to do is, is draw the region that uh, this thing is happening on. And so I'm looking at this. Uh, so there is x equal to y. That's the x equal to y. Let's change color. x equal to y or y equal to x and then um, x equal to 1 so these two are x equal to 
x equal to and x equal to 1 is right here x equal to 1 and then y equal to 0 and 1 y equal to 0 and y equal to 1 over here um, but already with one of them I complete the region and so this is B if I want to change the order now changing the order remember inside was in the X direction so outside should be in the Y direction I see that Y is going to be between 0 and y equal to x, x, and then x goes from 0 to 1. So the integral is going to be <clears throat> integral from 0 to 1, integral from 0 to x, e to the x squared, dy, dx. Now compute the inner part. Here is the inner part. Um, this is integral 0 to 1 tx <clears throat> the inner part e to the power x squared is a constant so it comes out of the integral and then integral of dy becomes y and you go from 0 to x so replacing this um, integrand you will get integral from 0 to 1 x e to the power x squared dx. Now how do I compute this? This is a u substitution. Um, and so u equal to x squared and du equal to 2x dx. And then, um, so replacing it, this becomes u and this part becomes half of it dx. This is one half of it dx. And then x equal to zero stays, uh, u equal, gives u z, x equal to zero, gives u equal to zero, x equal to one, gives u equal to one. So let's set that up. So that's equal to integral from 0 to 1, uh, 1 half of e to the u du, which is e to the u half, 0 to 1, and that is e to the power 1 minus 1 over 2. I click a question 15.2c. Um, so the question is asking um, when um, integral, uh, the integral is integral from 0 to 1, integral from x to 1 of cosine y squared dy dx. And the question is asking to uh, reverse the order of the integration. So give yourself a couple of minutes and come back and finish this. So first thing we want to know what the region of integration is. Here y is between this y equal to x and y equal to 1. y equal to x and y equal to 1. And then x is between 0 and 1. I don't need to write, draw 1. This is the region. Now I want to change the order. Right now it's in y direction. Uh, I want to make it from x direction. So in x direction, drawing the arrow, it starts from x equal to 0 and goes to x equal to y. x equal to 0 and x equal to y. Now, um, setting it up again, it will be, uh, in, I know dx is first, then dy, cosine of uh, y squared stay, stay, still stays the same, but x goes from 0 to y, 
and y goes from 0 to 1. So the answer is 8.